Hello everybody, and welcome back to my perspective of the Ultra Overcast Network, Ultra Hardcore. Um, again, this is my post-commentary, because I m left my mic muted for the first half. Um, anyway, so yeah, welcome back. We're in this cave again, we had found some gold, we just found those two diamonds, and now we're up to full iron, because we just got those iron pants. So now, my main goal is to find three more diamonds or some gold, so I see that thing over there. It's a little bit more cave, so I'm like, alright, I'm gonna head over there so I can see if I can find a little bit more diamond. And yeah, you'll see how well that turns out. Um, right now I'm bridging over the lava again, right on the lava, so if I fall in, I can climb back up. I'd probably still burn to death, but at least I'd burn to death on the cobble. Actually, that might be more infuriating than just burning in the lava. So right here I'm taking it very, very slowly, because I don't want to just rush into this cave, get shot by a skeleton, especially when I'm right next to this lava, um, it's not that great, so I'm trying to be really careful, putting my blocks in a place where I can get them easily, so I'm pointing out that that cave's dark right there, I have my torches, I only have five, so I decide I need a couple more torches, and I put them together. I'm very, very cautious right here, like, I don't want to take any risks. I see that zombie there, and I think... I'm not sure why I'm taking it too slow if that's just the zombie. So I'm just kind of walking, I see that creeper, I'm like, nope, nope. And then hit it, and that's exactly how you want to deal with creepers. I'm sure you can get TNT if you actually kill them, but it's better just have them explode and you take no damage. So that zombie's over there, but he doesn't really concern me, so I just kind of block it off. Block it off here so he doesn't, or so he's not able to sneak up on me. And I hit him at the knee, so that way he can't touch you. And you're perfectly safe. So that's a good way to get rid of um, most mobs in Ultra Hardcore, is to do that, what I just did there. So I actually I have a stack of cobblestone, so... I just discovered that. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident because I just killed two mobs, the only mobs I could see. And I said I'm going to go in here. It feels a little bit more secluded, but it's not at all. So, yeah. And then over here, we have more cave. And on your right, you have a little bit more cave. And on your left, you have a little bit more cave. Thank you for taking the cave tour. <laughs> um, yeah, I see daylight over here. I'm like, what is that? And then I realize it's a glass. And then up here, you get ambushed from there, so I don't want to take any risks and leave it unlit. Making sure it's not too dangerous, but it just dead ends right there. So I decide, alright, I'm, I'm cool, it's cool, we cool. So I pick up this iron so I can get a bucket, um, a sword. I think that was really all the other tools I needed. It's still always good to get iron in case you want to get like an anvil or something. So that's why you should always collect the iron you see, even if you have full iron set. Until you get an anvil, and then even then you might want to get more for like a, if you need to repair your armor or if you want to get a higher enchantment or something. So right here I'm pushed up right against the glass wall. Checking the health again. A couple people are down in red and yellow. I believe Moose was at 2, or Zeruth, or however you say his name. Um, getting a little bit more iron, as you can see by me getting more iron. Um, and then I see this emerald, and I said I might be able to get like arrows or something if I find an NPC village. So I pick up that emerald, and then I go more into this darkness, and I hear that spider. I'm like, where is this guy? And then you see him right up there. So right now I, I do want him to come at me so I can get a string. Because I, bows are so important to Ultra Hardcore. If you don't have a bow, you're so far behind. And you're automatically going to lose. Well, I guess if you have a really good sh sword, then there's less of a chance of you losing. So right here, um, I probably could have been a little bit smarter about attacking the spider. To make sure it doesn't fall down. Oh, 
spoilers. <laughs> Three second spoilers. So zombie just fell down. I think he was just down there where um, that pit is right in front of the spider. And I and I see this gold one. And I'm like, I really don't want to deal with this guy. I don't know if they dropped gold bars. If they did, that's pretty sweet. Like they had gold armor and they dropped gold bars instead of iron bars. But yeah. So I'm attacking this zombie right now. And Checking my, checking around to make sure no other mobs are gonna come sneak up on me. I look here, doesn't look too interesting, so I um, just put, put a torch down so there's no mobs spawning near me. Put a torch here, it's just a dead end. I probably should have picked up that gravel. And so here I, again, I'm trying to attack the spider. Um, my crafting table down. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Oh, uh, okay. I'm cooking my iron. So, put pop some coal in it. I figure I might as well cook some iron while I'm burning some time here attacking the spider. Put my cobble down. Almost have cobble, which is not good. It's always good to have at least half a stack of blocks. Like, at least a stack would be preferable. And then the spider just falls down. I'm like, are you serious? And he falls down right into that water. So now I have to change my plan. Um, but now I can make um, a sword, which it's always good to have an iron sword, you know, because it does a little bit more damage. I mean, they're almost equal to a stone, but it does enough damage that it probably could win you the game in a stone versus iron. So I throw my old tools down, like just so I can preserve ener er, energy. Not preserving energy. I'm preserving uh, inventory space. <laughs> wow, that was derpy. But yeah, I open this furnace, pick up that iron. Open the furnace, pick up more iron. Um, so now I have some more iron, and I figure I better pick up this coal so I can get more torches. Um, I'm using my stone pick right here so I don't waste my iron. But in all honesty, unless you're like doing a lot of digging. Probably just use your iron pick. It's faster, saves some time because it's faster, and yeah. So now I'm trying to get this spider. I pick up the last of my iron, and I'm trying to decide how to best approach that spider so I can attack him without dying, or taking any damage. Um, so I figure might as well go down the way I came up because I know that's safe. And I let up here. I'm checking out where that spider is. I could drop down into that water. That would have been really risky. And probably wouldn't have been worth, worth the risk, to be honest. Um, and here's the thing. Spiders are really glitchy. And their hit boxes, or not their hit boxes, but where they can attack you from is really... I'd say it needs some working on. Because they can hit you in places where you can't hit them. Which is not... Cool. So here I'm just trying to make a way down where I can get that spider without him attacking me. And right here, I think I did that. I shouldn't have been shifting on this block, as you can see right here, because I hit him once, and somehow he manages to hit me. I was, I wasn't too happy, because now I'm no longer in the top, whatever who have ten, and the spider shouldn't have been able to hit me right there. He just kind of hack me through a block so yeah spiders are really glitchy um, but it's just part of the game so you have to live with them so now I'm down to 9.5 it's still a very formidable health like I can still win a fight with 9.5 against a 10 or a person with 10 so yeah now I'm just trying to attack the spider for string and he's just kind of chilling on that wall I'm like come on dude seriously and then he just decides eh I'm not mad at you anymore I'm like, for real? And he gets mad at me again. And I thought he was going to hit me again right there. So I was like, woo, 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 woo. Then I get two string. And I'm like, woo, -hoo, two string. Um, oh, Matt? Was that Matt? I think Matt just got killed by Poyo. Or was it Patio? I don't know. Poyo just got a kill. You can see that in the chat. I wasn't paying attention. 
So there's this creeper here, he's stuck in that water. Water is not really a good place to fight creepers. Especially next to lava. So, see, that was perfect. Again, I was like, woohoo, that was great. So, here we have a pretty good depth, or diamond depth. It's a good place to find diamond, good place to find gold. So, this is a really nice cave that I found here, and I'm really glad I went into it. So, here we see my old tools where I threw them down. Just checking around here, make sure there's no skeletons or anything like that. So I don't get um, killed by them. I pick up my old tools and I'm like, ah. so I see this creeper over here and I try to knock him the lava. And again, perfect explosion. So that was three perfect explosions, and you know when you're getting lucky, you're probably not going to get as lucky because you know, the game has to give you some. Uh, I don't know how to go in there. It has to attack you in order to give you stuff. <laughs> it's totally not legit, but. So over here, I'm like, this water looks safe, I think I'll go here. And my pick breaks, and I have another pick. So I figure, eh, I'll just switch to my iron. But I don't. Oh wait, I do. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know what I was doing. This was like a million years ago, but not really. So over there, I'm just checking to find the location of mobs. I don't see any. And this part right here looks pretty safe. So I just add another barrier, just to be sure. And then make a staircase down so I don't fall straight into this lava. I see that gold there, I'm like, sweet! This gold is always good to have. Kazi just left. Did he die? <laughs> wow, did he die? Oh wow, I wasn't paying attention to chat. I guess Kazi died. I'm not sure to who. Maybe, it was, maybe that was who Bojo killed. So I guess Kazi got killed by Poyo. And yeah. That was it. <laughs> Kazi got killed by Poyo. That's pretty much it. And then over here. Just checking out this cave. Ooh, look at that diamond. So that's pretty sweet. I have my diamond here. And this is just enough to get me a diamond pick so I can make a, an enchanting table. Although I am missing one vital ingredient right now, and that is leather to make books. Because I have the sugar cane, I will have the obsidian pretty soon here. As you can hear, there's a um, enderman around me, and I'm, I finally decide I'm just going to burn these tools so that they are useless. Um, see, here I'm starting to... Oh, did Moose die? <laughs> wow, I'm paying as much attention to the chat now as I did while well, actually playing you just get so involved in the game that it's really hard to pay attention. Um, so here I'm mining the obsidian. I only need four for an enchanting table. Um, sorry if I say um a lot. I just don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, so here I'm checking Moose was shot by a skeleton. Okay. So, now you know. Moose was shot by a skeleton. And I think Kazi was killed by Oyo. So yeah. Here again, I mine some obsidian for an enchanting table. You only need four, um, four obsidian, two diamond, and a book. What you need. And I considered at this moment I could probably go to the Nether and stand a fair chance. Right now, that might be okay. And I see here I have just enough, or almost just enough obsidian need one more piece. Um, yeah. I'm just picking up the subsidian. Everyone is sitting in the chat talking. I don't normally chat that much because, or I don't chat in this that much because it's too focused on the game, man. So there's some gold over there that I missed, which is pretty sweet. Always good to dig around gold veins so you can find gold. <laughs> or find more resources. Here we have one more gold. And at this moment, I believe now I have six or seven pieces of gold, two uncooked. So, right here I'm trying to pick up a little bit more blocks so I'm not blockless. Ace man is giving out his coordinates again. 
Azulazin is still at 0.5. Why is Ace Man giving out equipment? That's probably not the best thing to do. Maybe it's a trap. No, we got trap. And here I find this cave. I figure I'd, I'd go up here. <laughs> and then the Enderman scared me. I was like, whoa, whoa. And yeah. So I keep going through this cave. I'm hugging this wall. And then over there you see that diamond. I was like, no. And I really wanted to break that glass right there, but I did not. So no cheating for me. <laughs> um, that diamond is like just like a punch in the face, man. So close, yet so far away. And then the Enderman's right there. I'm like, oh, I don't want to touch this guy. I don't want to look at this guy. I don't want to think about this guy. So I just try to go around. I'm like, don't look at me. I'm not. I'm not looking at you. There's the spider here. I'm like, oh crap, crap, crap. What am I gonna do? So I make this little barrier here, and I see him up there. And I'm like, oh come on, glitchy spiders. So I try to make him a little path down. He falls, but he doesn't fall. That's so glitchy. It's not even funny how glitchy that is. They are making another two wide tunnel, so he can't even like attack me. Which probably still can because they're so buggy. So I'm digging this thing so he can come at me. And then he goes above me. I'm like, oh, seriously? And I try to find him. There he is. Try not to look at that Enderman as well. And he's dead. And I did not get a string. So I was a little disappointed by that. Because I didn't get a bow. But I was still okay. I'm, like, I'm still doing pretty well. Pretty well. In the, right now. Except, And I see that creeper right there. Right at the corner of my eye. I'm just like, nope. He comes at me, I'm just trying to like stop him right here. I'm like freaking out right now. And I just give him a pathway up to me, I'm like And then digging near a tunnel again to attack him at the knees. Creepers you have to be a little bit more careful. This torch was in a bad place. Um, I believe it's I wanna say three hits. Three or four hits with an iron sword that kills creeper. And then I have this gravel here, so I need to pick it up so I can grab some flint, so eventually I can make some arrows for when I eventually get a bow. So at this point, I'm starting to feel like I've run my time in this cave. I don't really need to be here anymore. Um, I really should be picking up this iron because it's important. And I hear a creeper, I'm just kind of like, nope, where's this guy? He's right there. And yeah, okay, so it's three hits with an iron sword that kills a creeper. So right now I'm just kind of feeling that I should get out. I'm no longer wanted here. The cave is sending everything it has at me. And then um, right here you hear my goodbye committee. And then you see my goodbye committee. I pick up the skull and I'm kind of like, oh, that's a skeleton. I see him right there, and it's like, he's that guy's gonna rip me to pieces. So I just kind of block it off. I'm like, eh, I don't really want to deal with that. That guy's just gonna give me lost hearts, so I'm trying to find my old cave. Or go away from this skeleton so he doesn't hit me. So, again, I was trying to hit him at the knees, but that didn't really work. I couldn't find him, and he wasn't going to fall down into that hole. And then I find my old cave, so I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take this and, and leave. Thanks, Skeleton, for making sure I do. Checking behind me, making sure nothing's coming into my tunnel. And blocking out this water so it doesn't push me straight into the lava. I think I'm actually right now in a different cave than the Skeleton, or a different layer, so he can't actually hit me. I don't know. That's why, or, so I don't really need to be that cautious. I mean, I still do, because I don't want to, like, die. I didn't need to be as cautious as I am right now, or as I'm being right now. So I'm putting more cobble down so I don't die in the lava. Lazy's at one, or, sorry, the thing changed. Zillazen is now at one. He's regenerating. Um, Zillazen got an apple. And I'm trying to get out of this cave, and then I find my old cave. And I decide at this moment that 
I'm not gonna get anything more out of this cave. It's not damage. I should just leave. And then there's this guy I'm like, oh crap, 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 crap. And he did hit me once, but my armor saved me. If that had been... I was... I'm not sure. I was so lucky right there. And then I just went into all attack mode. I was just like, block, 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 hit. So in here we find my old tunnel, and I decide, yep, time to go. Skeletons are attacking me. I really do not want to be here anymore. Cave doesn't want me to be here anymore. Don't want that zombie flesh to be here anymore. <laughs> and then I start digging through my tunnel. Up here we have my staircase down. And I'm not sure why it was. It kind of looked like it was night, or the light was night. <laughs> night light. It was a night. Or it looked like that light back there was at night. Oh, Soul's dead. He went into lava. And now we've lost three players. We've lost Moose, um, Kazi Crafter, and Solo. One, two, player death, and two, environmental death. So right now, I'm trying to decide a good way to get out of this cave without dying look up and see it's still night and or is it night? yeah it's night so I figure eh it's night and I had to go to the bathroom right now or in the video and this is when I discovered I'm still trying to take out my torches so it's less obvious that I'm there and I finally block off that cave and then Right here I decide, eh, I need to go to the bathroom. And I try to dig myself a little pit so I'm safe. And then I, <laughs> I mute my mic here. So, can't be heard. But by muting my mic, I unmute my mic. Because <laughs> I had it switched. So I unmute, uh, I unmute, I unmute my mic right now can see that that's me trying to adjust my headset um, and then trying to put my headset on my shift key so I'm on shift but it didn't work as you can hear by the noise so then I finally decided screw it and I just leave um, you can hear it's daytime because the mobs are burning and I'm not even in there right now I'm gonna be cutting off this post commentary really soon my voice is pretty low because I had my microphone volume down to 50% for some reason. My uh, headset just kind of shifted in position right there. But yeah, my microphone will be pretty low. My sound's pretty high. Altogether, my audio is pretty crappy this season. My apologies for that. Um, yeah. I'm going to be cutting off the post-commentary pretty soon here. Thank you guys for filling in with being willing to watch it till now with my post commentary. Hopefully it was a little bit entertaining and provided some insight into how I play. But yeah, I will see you guys later and here's me coming back. So, late. Okay. I think I put my mic muted this whole time. Okay, um, this sucks. I think my mic has been muted the entire time I've been recording. So yeah, welcome. There we go. Just to if it was muted.
See, these mountains are not very good to rush through. Because you can easily take damage. So. Oh, there's nothing here? Oh, here's my original. That cobble wasn't there. When I because I didn't even have cobble. Oh yeah, I did. But I didn't put that cobble there. See, these mountains would be a terror bad place to fight. I'm looking for cows. And I'm gonna have to do post commentary. I'm derpy. Um Okay, so fall damage. Is anyone still at ten? Oh Matt. Matt and you gone. I think If I can have it, that way they're at 10. Whew, seeing that 10 is pretty difficult. So there's definitely been people here. I could have an enchanting table if I had a cow. I feel you, Zillion. Is that a dungeon? <laughs> oh, my caps is on. Oak. Okay. Um. I really need leather right now. I wonder if it'd be worth it to head into the ocean. See if we can find another land. Oh, snap. GG. Oh, snap. GG. Wow. Lazy point five. I want to attack lazy. Um, I'm sad that I do hurt there. Um, GG. Snap! GG! Okay, swamp. I think these are good for cows. Pop! Don't want that on my hotbar. Left, right, right, center. Yes, sir. I want cows. in the game to get them though. See the fact that there's all these pigs here makes me think that no one's been here quite yet. GG. Where is MK now? MK is 4.5. So there's. Oh, Yukon's the only 10. Tenor. <laughs>
don't know why I'm sidetracking. 